Back in August on my Canadian road trip, my team manager Fab invited me to come and ride his hometown, Squamish. It's a well-known mountain bike town located in BC, famous for its breathtaking scenery, steep mountains, and apparently epic trails too. It seemed as though this was an opportunity too good to miss, so I had to try it out for myself and see if it was as good as everyone says. We're here with Fab, you might remember him from Queenstown earlier in the year, or the Trans Madeira, where he showed me some stuff down the tracks there. Are you gonna show me some stuff today? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're here to show you the best of the best in one afternoon, so. Yeah, and look where we're starting. Looks pretty serious, eh? Fab's lent me his e-bike for the afternoon. Look, we've got all the kit, the pump, the bottles, spare tubes, because we're going on a big adventure. Let's get going, shall we? in and out Burger, legendary. So we started off on the trails right behind Fab's house, getting straight into it with these crazy steep rock rolls and a track called in and out Burger. It's a pretty well-known trail in the area, but it's definitely steeper in real life than what it looks. Fab obviously rides these all the time, so he went off absolutely flying. Oh, sick. Oh my God. That was quite a start to the uh, afternoon. I couldn't really slow down at the end there. <laughs> That's pretty technical. Down some of the alternative lines. Whoa, you really got to trust your tyres down there. That's like nothing I've ever ridden before. Oh. Wow, that was really cool. That's kind of exactly what I expected, but not what I expected at all. I took you down the spicy exit. That was quite spicy, to be honest. Oh, I love that. That's exactly what I came to Squamish for. Uh. <laughs> It was really steep. <laughs> it's like half trials and half downhill. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That was really cool. Quite exciting that gets, isn't it? At some points. Yeah, it's uh Different style of riding, huh? Yeah, I like it. I've never ridden anything like that. So my first couple laps in Squamish definitely lived up to the hype with mega steep and technical sections. But apparently this was just the warm up and we embarked on an hour ride up another mountain for the longest and sickest trail Fab knew. The climb was savage even on the e-bike, but the view waiting for us at the top was already worth it. And Fab had promised me a trail I would never forget. No! <laughs> oh, defeated. So close to the top. No way. That was the most epic view you have of the, of the valley. Of the world. Doesn't get much better than that. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, a little bit of free ride to start off. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
So the trail started off with some wild sections, but then chilled out some high speed bombing through the grassland high up in the mountain with a natural trail carved out of the slippy mud. This was a proper adventure. Keeping up with Fab was no small task. He actually used to race World Cup downhill and he's still pretty damn fast, but don't tell him that. <laughs> wow, down into the woods. And that's actually the start. Oh, that's not even the start yet. That was so good. So we dropped in to apparently where the trail actually starts, and he wasn't kidding. Once we dived into the thick woods, things got steeper and more technical, but the loamy dirt was an absolute treat. But once again, turns out this was still only the warm up of what was to come further down the mountain. Wow! Unbelievably thick. It's so thick and not crazy huh? No, it's just the right amount of um, sketchiness. Okay, my arms have recovered slightly. <laughs> Let's keep the adventure going. More, more mountain bike heaven. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this epic trail just kept getting better and better and all I could think on the way down was firstly, try not to nail myself, but mainly just how amazing the guys who built this trail are. It must have taken such a long time, so a massive thanks to the builders for their hard work and not just on this masterpiece, but all around the world. Well, this uh, afternoon e-bike ride just got pretty serious. Am I surprised the sea bike got serious? Not at all, no. <laughs> oh, cool. I really enjoyed that. Right, so apparently this is where it actually gets spicy, so fingers crossed. Let's see um, see what it's all about. Oh, this is just as Canada as it gets. After a short traverse, we were back into the next section and it really was as Canada as it gets. Half trials, half World Cup downhill. I couldn't believe the trail was still going. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> that was like a diving board. That's so good. I love that steep bit. Uh oh, here we go. Just the right amount of spice, yeah. You could definitely get it wrong real easy. If you 
get it right, it's wicked. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very spicy. But super thick. Oh. <laughs> wow. That is mega. <laughs> That is awesome. <laughs> wow, you gotta be fit. That's like endurance, trials, downhill, <laughs> free ride, all in one track. It's so technical, but flows really well, doesn't it? It's crazy. Uh, you start from like the flowy alpine, you get into the woods, and now you get like tech. It's just like. It's a big day out. It just evolves. Mm. A truly huge day out, and it wasn't over yet. Fab had warned me about a bit so steep it might be 50-50 if we crash or not in these conditions and it was just around the corner. God, really? Um, oh, that was yeah. mega, mega spice. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I did the same as you, just the front wheel slid out, and I had to get off the brakes completely and just bomb. Yeah, there's no other option. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that is Vindaloo Spice. From there on out, it was very much more of the same. Smooth rocks, tight trails, wild steep shoots with not much grip. We must have been riding down here 45 minutes by now. <laughs> Boy, that was never ending. Never ending excitement. There's only huh. one more part of trail. Yeah? I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> so I was pretty knackered by this point, but there was only one part of trail left. It has a Grim Reaper at the top of it too, so you know it's probably not very chill. Oh, good, oh, there he is. <laughs> the spice continues. Wow, we're not hanging around. <laughs> Amazing! What a trail! So there it was, an absolutely epic ride on the e-bikes. Squamish definitely delivered the goods with some incredible trails built by an impressive local community of riders and builders, a real benchmark for how it can be done. But as we bombed down the fire road, there was one last surprise waiting for us hidden in the bush from earlier. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is in here? <laughs> Oh my god. Right, there we go. As if that couldn't be any better and this day couldn't be any more cool. Time for some Sora missions.
Wowee. So we're back at the track, off to retrieve the e-bikes from the bottom. Thanks, Fab. That was the sickest day <laughs> ever. A normal afternoon in Squamish. I know. Damn. Maybe we're going to have to move here. That is clearly why Squamish is known as pretty much the mecca of mountain biking. What a sick afternoon. Tomorrow, we're heading to Whistler to continue the fun on this Canada trip. Wow, what a trip so far. Day five coming up tomorrow. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you then. Cheers.